What's up guys, it's Cam coming at you from the 2-6. Welcome back to CFR. Today is a viewer's choice video that has been requested by Jonathan Rodriguez. Jonathan, you know why this video is being made, son. Jonathan left a comment in the last video talking about you should make a video on like, like an anti-compliment or worse reaction. So I have assembled 10 fragrances that have got good reactions from some people and not so much by others. Stay tuned and see what we got cooking. Okay, so this lineup is going to be mixed up a little bit. It's going to be some fragrances that actually work uh, on certain occasions and maybe not so much others. I think there's one or two in here that are actually not in my collection anymore. There's also some reactions that involve my brother. So if I could have got him on, that would have made it a little bit more interesting, but maybe we'll do that soon. But let's go ahead and get to, and these are in no particular order, but let's just go ahead and get to number 10. It is a fragrance that I actually gave away for a giveaway on the channel here. It was our Moff's Club de Nuit Intense Man. And as you guys well know, during the DNA battle, that was the one that Desiree picked as her favorite Aventus clone or favorite Aventus DNA. But yes, Club de Nuit Intense Man is an Aventus clone. Now, a lot of people are divided on it, including myself. I can see where people like it, I guess. For me, personally, not my favorite in the world. It is pretty sharp around the edges, and I, from what I understand, they do have some batches that come from like the Middle East, and I think some come from Paris or somewhere in Europe, if I'm not mistaken. I think mine, yeah, mine came from the Middle East, and it was very abrasive on the opening. So I actually, well, you know, I actually just bought it, and I sprayed it on at work. And uh, that stuff's strong, it's very strong. But probably within maybe 15 minutes of me spraying at work, it was like right before it was time for me to get off. I actually came home, checked the mail, it was in there. So sprayed it, a few minutes later, you know, I'm off. And I was actually meeting a girl that I go out with from time to time. And uh, she was like, you know, she stuck her head in the window of the car and she was like, whew, good God, dude, what in the heck is that? You smell like bug spray. <laughs> So, I've heard other people, you know, kind of mention that, but it was a very drastic reaction because, like, she loves smelling my fragrances. And uh, she smelled Aventus on me before. She smelled a lot of different fragrances on me, but that was a severe, that was a hard no-go. She was like, dude, go wash that crap off. Don't get up on me with that. So, yeah, that was a, a pretty bad one. But, again, these are just things that have happened to me. You know, if you love Club de Nuit Intense, man, and it works for you, fantastic. Let's get to number nine. Okay, coming in at number nine is Parfum de Marley Carlisle. Carlisle, I absolutely adore. And I don't know if you guys have smelled this, but it's it's kind of a spicy gourmand. It has some apple. It's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's very unique. It's got a, a really good note of patchouli in here, so it's kind of like an earthy gourmand. Not like super dirty or anything, but really, I mean, for what it is, it's a lot more mass appealing than you would think, but it is also beastly, and if you overspray this, it could be a problem. Now, this story pertains to my brother. My brother actually bought a bottle of this, and my brother is a very heavy sprayer. Now, I'm guilty sometimes of it myself, and you'll find that out here <laughs> in a minute with some of these other fragrances I have, but legit. He came into, we have two buildings where I work. Sometimes I'll be in the store, he'll be in the shop, or we'll both be over in the shop or whatever, but he came in the store right after he sprayed this, and I legitimately had to open the doors. I was like, bro, you have over sprayed that something fierce. And it was literally like was choking me out. I could feel like my sinuses just filling up just because it was too, too intense. So if you over spray this one, it could be a problem, but still all the same, I absolutely still adore this fragrance even though it choked me out. 
coming in at number eight. Just as I said, I've been guilty of overspraying myself. Now, this one's kind of jacked up. This too is like a double-edged, bad deal, all-in-one night with Versace Mano Fresh, which is one of the best fragrances from Versace, especially in the summertime. It's kind of like what my friend George, a fragrance apprentice, said. When you wear this, it's kind of like that fragrance you would wear on holiday. And it is that bright, cheery, beachy, you know, just really fresh and inviting fragrance but if you overspray it it can be a nightmare and I did I oversprayed this fragrance I don't even I guess I just went trigger happy is all I can figure I had a date and uh, I noticed that she kept kind of doing this right here and I didn't know if she had a booger in her nose or, or what obviously thinking nah there's no way it could be me and then we went to the grocery store and the girl in the line at the grocery store started sneezing I mean just at you at you at you at you I was like bless you she's like dude could you chill out with your cologne for God's sake and I mean like her face like across under her eyes over the top of her nose is just completely red eyes watering so yeah that that's, that's kind of an effed up deal. So yeah, Versace Mano Fresh, if you overspray, there's a good chance that you might run a date or a lady at the grocery store off. Coming in at number seven is another fragrance that I absolutely adore. Now, this is a story that my brother told me. He actually called me, you know, laughing his head off about it. And this one is Juice Box cheeky smile now there are a lot of aroma chemicals in this fragrance but i find it to smell fantastic but it can be beastly if you overspray it and of course you know people including myself certain aroma chemicals you know in different formulations work or don't work for me my brother was wearing this one in dollar general if i'm not mistaken he went in there and said a lady on the aisle over was like my god somebody's got too much cologne on and <laughs> said she went to coughing and sneezing <laughs> and just having a complete and total fit and I think it wound up being like two people like God knows yeah I smell it too but no this fragrance does not smell bad I mean it's a pretty simplistic note breakdown some of the notes for this one are ISO E Super, Amber Core, and Cashmeran or Cashmere. So this is one that they actually said had kind of a Baccarat Rouge feel to it, which I don't get at all. I mean, it's got like a little bit of that woodiness or whatever, but it is super mass appealing to me if you spray lightly but yeah oversprayed same thing you're gonna have people choking out you know evacuating grocery stores and all that just like i did with versace mano fresh coming in at number six is a very hard to find fragrance and it's one that i absolutely adore it is isimiyaki noir ombre now i actually like i was loving this so much that i wore this out on a date and it did not feel fare too well i mean the girl was actually pretty nice about it but she's like dude like whatever kind of cologne you've got kind of has like a petroleum tinge to it or something did you get some gas on your is that actually your cologne i was like yeah it's kind of sort of in a way but you know to me i absolutely adore it it's not like a, a fahrenheit type petroleum note or whatever there is something especially like in the opening where i messed up as i sprayed it right before i went to go pick her up now um this is probably not a date night fragrance to begin with this is probably more so one for like for personal enjoyment unless you have a wife or girlfriend boyfriend whatever it is that you've got that you already know like sis that might go okay but uh she's like please don't wear that again if we go out <laughs> so what made it even funnier is uh, if you guys will remember unless you're new to the channel i actually did a blind smelling rate with andrea from curly sense so just to throw her a couple of curveballs i threw some fragrances that already has some bad luck with just to see how she would react and yeah she pretty much had the same reaction which leads me to my next fragrance and you might know what I'm going to pull out so the next fragrance I actually left in the other room but just for time's sake I'm just going to call it you guys know that I have it it is Tom Ford's tobacco Vanille. And no it wasn't like an in-person type bad reaction but I had no idea that she would really just 
like hate it as much as she did. I didn't think it was going to be like, ooh, yeah, it's going to be great. But I have ran into women in the past that absolutely really adore that fragrance. But it's not exactly like the most mass appealing fragrance. It has a very significant note of cloves. And of course, it has tobacco and vanilla and like some dried fruits. But I think that that cloves in there is like, like a hard pass for certain people. It is a dark and mysterious fragrance. And it's not one you want to wear on a first date or <laughs> anything like that. It's, you better be darn sure that your girl likes that one. That is why Andrea had the reaction that she did. Next fragrance is no longer in my collection. It is Zerjoff More Than Words. Now, I did a video on this a while back. It is a beautiful fragrance. It smells fantastic. Now, it's not for everybody, but it is probably the most beastly fragrance I have ever smelled. You want to talk about beast mode overload? You better go extremely, extremely easy on the trigger with that one. I would imagine that a 100 milliliter bottle of that would probably last a lifetime. So what happened with that, me not knowing just how beastly it performs and it just keeps on performing and keeps on performing. I mean, legitimate, just like beast mode, 12 hours solid. I mean, really, I'm not exaggerating. If you've ever smelled it, you know what I'm saying. And especially if you put like three or four sprays of it on, which is what I did. And <laughs> again, I was working. This time, my brother got to smell me over spraying. And he was like, dude, how many freaking sprays did you put on? He's like, I'm legit like starting to feel nauseous. And he, he just kept like, he turned the fan on, he opened the doors. He's like, dude, it just won't stop. He's just like, a <laughs> <laughs> that's how more than words is. So yeah, that's one that you'll, one, two sprays is all you would ever need of that fragrance. Yeah, more than words is like, it's more than words can say how freaking strong that fragrance is. Next fragrance up is actually from my Tom Ford private blend collection. And it's one of the very few that I don't actually have a bottle of. And now that I you know see, that's my decant. That's all I've ever used of it. And yeah, this one is effing fabulous. This one actually even says the whole thing right there. I was actually really excited to get this fragrance. There was a lot of hype that went around this fragrance, talking about it being like a unique and very seductive gourmand. There's something about this fragrance that I kind of like and then something I don't like so much. And if you overspray this one, it will actually, like for me, actually make me nauseous. I oversprayed it, I made myself nauseous and I was on my way to a date. And actually before I was going to my date, I had to stop by my ex-wife's house to bring my son something. So I was like, wow, this is gonna be something else. So I'm all, you know, G'd up from the feet up, going over there, of course, and I had to show my little man some love, so I had to hang with him about a good 20 minutes just to hang out with him for a minute, even though he's getting ready to go to bed. And my ex-wife, she's like, dude, she's like, I don't know what that crap is, but it freaking stinks. And that's kind of how it is with this. Either people like it or they don't. So then I go to my date and she said she liked it, but something tells me that she was just trying to be nice. I actually told her that this was coming in because she would get excited when I was, you know, getting different fragrances and I was kind of I went on a really bad kick of buying a lot of the private blend from Tom Ford they would usually start like this and then wind up actually evolving into a bottle but as you can see this one never made it to the bottle not the worst fragrance in the world but not the best fragrance either and I can't speak of any compliments I've ever had with it okay last fragrance if you guys have been with me from like the very beginning you might be able to guess what I'm getting to break out if you're new, strap in. This was a fragrance that received a lot of hype in the community when it came out because I think the presentation was like, had really, you know, just had a real buzz going on, had everybody excited for it. Then Stephen from Red Adolescence is talking with Victor Wong about how much he likes this new fragrance. Yeah, I am talking about Zoologist Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, 
if you guys remember, I actually had a decant of this. Now, what happened when I did that video, being I had never discussed zoologist fragrances before, it just made me look like a guy that just wasn't open to trying different things. I have since learned to love a lot of zoologist's fragrances, but T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus Rex has never appealed to me. Now, I have friends who adore it, but when Stephen from Red Adolescence was talking about this fragrance, he said that he had a sparkle in his eye when he smelled this fragrance. He said it was like really easy to wear, could wear it to a formal event or whatever. So I was like, okay, well, maybe, you know, but I, what, what I didn't understand is like notes like Blood Accord and Osmanthus and all these dozens of notes that are supposed to be emulating a dinosaur, or not a dinosaur, the dinosaur, the most craziest, bizarre dinosaur to ever walk the earth. I don't know how I thought that this was gonna be like a mass appealing fragrance. It's not, it is beastly. I don't know if you have ever smelled this stuff, and I know some of you love this fragrance, and I get it, you know, like I like a City on Fire from Imaginary Authors, I get it. It's smoky, it's different. There's not really a chance that anybody's gonna smell like you. But I actually, before I even started filming, I just sprayed this one more time. It's like, it fumigated this room. Now, where I used to film, I used to film in my living room at my old house, and it was much bigger than the room that I'm filming in right now. It's a decent sized room, but that was at like a very long living room. And it legit, one spray, filled the entire room and the kitchen. The next day I came home, I still smelled it. So you wanna talk about beastly fragrance. And of course it is based off of a beast. So well done Victor Wong for that. And Victor knows that I love several of his fragrances. So don't you know, think that I'm talking about Zoologist or Victor Wong in a negative way. Just, I don't know of any brand that you're gonna like every single fragrance. And this is one of the most bizarre fragrances I've ever smelled. I actually was scrubbing it, just really, really scrubbing it, trying to get it off, took a shower, I couldn't get it off. And it was just like, it was insane, insanely beastly. And I was just like, legit, like my nose was red, like Rudolph. I mean, if it was at Christmas time, I could have got the front of Santa sleigh. So this is a little bit of a, you know, a little different twist on a video. I thought it was a cool idea when it was mentioned in the comments. So, you know, it'd be nice to have something a little lighthearted right now. I know the United States is really going through a lot right now uh, with a tragedy that happened you know, earlier this week and one of the most horrifying things I've ever seen. So please take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Look after one another. I love and appreciate you. Thank you for all your support. Until next time, I'll see you on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.